This is a litter boom, a floating device which traps solid waste at a single point on a river. Rivers are a major source of plastic waste flowing into the ocean. An estimated 8 million tonnes of plastic enter our oceans every year. That's equal to a truckload of plastic being dumped into the world's seas every minute. While 20% of ocean plastic comes from fishing debris, the remaining 80% comes from rivers and coastlines. With the annual flow of plastic into the ocean set to triple by 2040 without immediate action, could litter booms be part of the solution? It's a simple concept, an intervention to stop and remove plastic waste from the river before it reaches the ocean. This one is made of light PVC pipe, attached to either side of the river with rope, inexpensive and low tech. The litter boom traps waste and because the pipe's installed at an angle, the current nudges the floating plastic trash towards the riverbank, where teams scoop it out of the river and dispose of it. This litter boom project, started in 2017, works across six different rivers on South Africa's east coast and manages 14 separate litter booms. The project was backed by an anchor partner who helped finance its launch. Today, the nonprofit boasts 22 full-time staff members and is supported by donations and local funding. I'm very happy, number one, working for this type of project because I've never seen such a thing in my life. So this type of work is adventurous. It needs you to be physically fit. Uh, it needs you to be innovative. So my community gets shocked when I'm telling them about my job. Uh, what I'm doing on a daily basis. They ask me, man, how do you walk on water? I'm telling them, okay, this is how I work. We set booms to trap every trash that is going to our oceans from our river systems. So other people just dump stuff uh, at, on our river uh, systems, hoping that it just goes away and it flushes that easily. It doesn't, doesn't go that way. A major reason for the excessive pollution in South Africa's rivers is a lack of adequate waste management infrastructure in the informal settlements and communities upstream. So waste collects and increases as it flows downstream, exiting from industry, the city, informal communities and stormwater drains, and entering directly into the rivers. These men and women living next to the rivers are best placed to operate and benefit from the litter booms. I've been here for like four years now, working for the project. Uh, this type of project uh, doesn't need me to use transportation because I'm living near the areas where I'm working. You know, largely the reason why these non-profits and these organizations like ours exist is because uh, municipalities are overwhelmed by how much plastic is being uh, generated and, and used within, a, uh, within a, an area. And, and so really what we're hoping to do is a, it's a two-pronged approach. We have an approach where we deal with the land-based problem that, that is current, and then there's the other side of it, which is us being able to work more on the, the legislation and the policy side of it so that there can be, so there's some accountability to the amount of plastic waste that is being generated whilst we are cleaning up in the environment, if we're not changing the model, then we will continue to clean up in the environment. It's a never-ending battle, but consistent effort over five years has delivered impressive results. To date, the team has removed over 423 tonnes of plastic from the rivers. That's a soccer field full of these giant bulk bags 
kept out of the ocean. 95% of the plastic they collect is sorted and sold to the plastic recycling industry. Here at the Hammersdale Waste Beneficiation Centre, another team prepares the plastic waste for its final journey to Johannesburg. Some plastic categories like PET and HDPE are crushed and baled, ready to be reused. All unusable plastic and general waste collected from the rivers, about 5%, is taken to landfill. Of course, plastic pollution washing into the oceans from rivers is a growing global challenge. African rivers are responsible for just 7.8%. And right now, Asian rivers are the worst polluters, representing 86% of the total global input. But we all have to do better if we want a healthy ocean. It's, it's easy to say, oh, well, it's, you know, academic and it's 8 million metric tons or it's 11 million metric tons or it's 14 million metric tons. But when you stop and think about what that actually means, right, it's garbage truck of trash every minute. It's, you know, 20 kilograms of, of plastic um, per meter of coastline per year by 2040. And it just keeps on going up, 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 up. When we modeled out what the current commitments that governments and corporations have made, um, you know, and, and this was sort of after the initial wave of excitement about dealing with plastic pollution, and we saw it was only going to reduce the size of the problem by 7% in 2040. You know, it just sort of made that point that oh, we've got to do more and we've got to do more now. We need all interventions and litter booms in rivers do have a place. Intercepting this ocean-bound plastic, or the ocean, yeah, the ocean-bound plastic when it's still in the rivers is a much easier engineering problem to solve than pulling it out of the water when it's in the ocean. So absolutely, um, you know, looking at rivers as, as a way to try to mitigate the problem is, is, a, is a necessary step. A litter boom works to trap hard floating plastic on the water's surface, but it won't be effective against the more insidious, unseen microplastics that escape or sink to the riverbed, accumulating in the sediment where they continuously degrade. These tiny plastic fragments can remain for years in slow-flowing streams and rivers, according to a study published in Science Advances, and only flush out of the river during periods of heavy rains and flooding. But while a litter boom is not a silver bullet to every aspect of our complex plastic pollution crisis. It is a good intervention that can easily be copied and modified in rivers around the world. This company in India has deployed floating trash barriers, or FTBs, in seven different Indian rivers. Each is designed differently to accommodate variations in water levels, speed of current, type of trash, and the seasonal monsoon rains. Similarly, Civic Action and Awareness Organization, Maria Verde, has been first to install and test different floating barriers and technologies on rivers in Panama they've been able to remove more than 100 tons of garbage in a year and a half with their barrier, Bob, in the Matias Hernandez River and are expecting to do even better with their new device, Wanda, in the Juan Diaz River. To face our growing global plastic problem, we need both high-tech and low-tech solutions. Every bit helps. The simple fact is that a silver bullet um, to solve the plastic pollution problem just, just doesn't exist. And that's because there's structural flaws in the global plastic system which require a system level change, right? But there is good news, and that's one of the things that we tried to really highlight in the report. And that's that the research shows that people can reduce ocean plastic by about 80% using currently available technology at a lower cost um, than we would spend under the current trajectory, right? All of these changes are needed and the more advocates we can have on board and the more people that sort of 
understand the scale of the problem just in their gut because they've seen the problems in a single river can really help push towards the system change that is necessary to really break the plastic wave. Litter booms can be part of the solution. But we all have to get behind a system change to make a real dent in preventing ocean plastic pollution. We have to learn to make and use far less plastic. Find better ways to recycle the plastic already in the system. Secure landfill sites and curtail illegal dumping. The real change and action has to take place upstream long before the plastic even reaches the rivers.